Welcome to Soil Science Australia videos on identifying soils using field techniques. Today we're going to be running through identifying the soil pH down through your soil profile. So here we are at this soil profile in Tunkillo in the Adelaide Hills uh, on a mixed cropping and pasture property and what we want to do is when we've understood what layers we've got down through this um, soil profile we then want to select the samples from our individual layers to really identify any changes in pH which is a really important measure um, of how the soils uh, will behave as far as nutrient availability, biological activity and overall um, potential and restrictions that might be uh, occurring in your soil profile. So I like to use a paint palette to work our way down through the profile and what we like to do is especially in the top soil we, it's great to identify a couple of layers within the topsoil so do the top of the topsoil and the bottom of the topsoil so usually get a bit of a sample out of the topsoil put that into the tray then I like to go down to the bottom of the topsoil just to see if there's any changes down through the through the profile and especially because we can start seeing what's called stratification where we can get layering out of that pH then we identified there's this change in colour which showed us this second layer. So again, might do the up higher in this profile, part of the profile, put that in the tray, and then we might go down a bit further before work out where that change is. And there, so sit above that, see if it's changed again. And then we can go down this next layer, which you can actually see it's a bit harder. The clay content has increased. And there, then we can go down here. Down again into this subsoil down further. So overall, there's your soil profile laid out from the top of the topsoil, bottom of the topsoil top of that next layer, the bottom of that next layer, into what we've called our clay layer, and then into the deeper subsoil. So we'll now go and have a look at that for its pH and the changes and show you how to use the field techniques for identifying pH. So now we've got the samples that we've collected from the soil pit, we now want to go through and do the field pH uh, assessment, which the technique can be found in the Australian Soil and Land Survey Field Handbook which runs through the Ralpac and Tucker uh, method for that field pH. But kits are also commercially available um, and really simple for you to use in the field. So in the kit, there is um, some of the liquid dye, pH indicator dye, some indicator powder, barium sulfate indicator powder, and a color wheel. So this color wheel will get you within about half a pH unit of your, um, of your soil pH. So with that, get the liquid solution and like we collected in the soil pit we've got our top soil working down through to our subsoil and we put a little bit of the solution on this top soil is slightly non-wetting which is another challenge for us to work on in soil pits we go down and put the solution on we come back through and put the powder on top So overall, from the colour wheel, when we've got that laid out, we've put the indicator solution on and the powder. We then match up the colour wheel once we've left it to um, settle in. Then we can work down through the profile and line up this colour wheel with the, with the soil. So in the soil here, what we've got is actually close to 7.5-8 in the topsoil. And then going down through a profile, so that was the top of the topsoil. And then at the bottom of the topsoil, we're around, probably around six. And then going down to the top of that next layer, we're around seven. And then below that is about six and a half. And then looking around that, yeah, six, six and a half. So around six and a half down through the profile. What is interesting here, 
as we said, overall it's a acidic profile, so around that six to seven pH, but the topsoil has actually been amended with lime this year. So lime is your common treatment for acidic soils. So when you use these indicators, especially if it starts getting down into the below six, into the fives, um, we need to be starting to look at a liming regime to amend that soil pH back up to closer into that green towards that six and a half pH level. So the reason why we need to be applying the lime to increase that soil pH back to that optimum level is for improved biological activity and also improved nutrient availability. So nutrients will change their availability based on where they sit on this pH scale. And remember, when you are moving a pH number, it's not just one unit going from five to six, it's a logarithmic scale. So it's going 10 times. So five to six is 10 times, five to seven is 100 times more acidic or alkaline. So be aware of that, that the small changes can have big impacts on how your soil is behaving and what, it's gonna, what sort of impact it's gonna have on your plants growing in that soil. So as you can see, we've had this acidic soil profile. As a reference, we wanted to show you what it would look like if we had an alkaline soil throughout the profile. And here's one from a different area um, that is alkaline throughout the profile. And you can see we've got soils, pHs up around eight, eight and a half, even close to nine. So really strongly alkaline. So remembering the above seven is an alkaline soil and below seven is an acidic soil. And, and the availability of nutrients and the, um, how plants will grow and the tolerance of plants and the biological activity will all be impacted by this change. So here's an example how you can quickly test your pH down through your soil profile to understand why you might be having some constraints with your production in your soil. But for more information, head to soilscienceaustralia.org.au